why I live in the past. This is a world. This is a world. So today I wanted to talk about, first of all, I want to follow up a little bit on something that I've been talking about previously, and this is the whole idea of debating ethics. And I want to make a distinction between having a conversation about ethics, which I think is a wonderful thing to do, and debating ethics, because I just don't think that ethics is something that's debatable, because it's something that we're constantly, it's something that the world is constantly transforming, our understanding of the world is constant, constantly transforming. So things that we might have thought of as ethical behaviors that we might have thought of in the past as ethical behaviors as we move into the future and discover more about the world, the way the world works, the environment, the impact that we have on other living creatures on the planet, we might understand that those things are not ethical. So ethic, ethics isn't a, a, it's not a debate topic, it's a discussion topic, it's a, it's, a, it's a topic for dialogue. So that's that, I'm just moving on. So I'm gonna move on from that. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about this whole idea. So people have said to me, um, when I talk about the past, um, they've said, well, you know, you live in the past. And you know what? We all live in the past. Here's how we live in the past. We have a last name, for example. That last name is something that was handed down to us from generation to generation to generation. If we didn't embrace the past in some way, none of us would have a name, right? Um, the, the laws that have been passed down over time, right? Those are things. We embrace the past or we don't in order to, you know, decide on the kind of present that we want to live in. We base our present on things that have happened in the past. And we also need to understand that the present is not just something that popped up instantaneously, but it is the effect of people in the past who have worked to transform the world. And this is where it is key. Uh, in terms of like, uh, if we don't believe in the past, how can we believe in the future, right? We believe in, in, the, we, in the present right now, the moment that we're living right now, uh, we're either living it for just simply right now and we have no belief that we're going to be having an impact on things that are to come, right? Or we can live our lives now with this understanding that we are impacting the lives of people who come after us, right? And when I honor the past, I am in some ways modeling a value system that I hope will be embraced by people in the future. And so the way that I honor the work that was done by the people who have made this world the livable place, the place that I can enjoy and appreciate having a life in, I hope that in the future people will look back and look at some of the things that I've done and others done and appreciate those things and learn valuable lessons from the things that we've done. That's really it. I guess I did do that in three minutes. So that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and dinkies out.